All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Chris's Sports Corner. Uh, real quick, man, hope everybody's having a great, 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 now I say great, great Monday. All right, man, um, first of all, thank you everybody for watching, uh, supporting the channel, appreciate it. Um, so, got some news um, as far as the Masai Ujiri Toronto Raptors uh, future. Um, shout out to my guy, LA Sports. He been sending me a gang of stuff, man. And feel free, man, if y'all got some things that you want me to touch on, send it to me. Send it to send it to me on Instagram, man. Y'all know I I get to it. I'm I'm not I'm not too big to check my Instagram. I'm not that guy. Um, I check it. I go through it. I try to convo, and then certain things I find that I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna speak on this. Or if I don't speak on, make a whole video about it, I incorporate it into some into another video. So feel free to contact me and talk to me about that. Obviously, I'm in the car right now, man. But uh, it's been a busy day. But this just this came out, man. Um, Masai Ujiri says Toronto Raptor futures hinges on upcoming chat with ownership. Now, I'm going to go, I'm going to read through the article and I'm going to break it down and tell you guys what I think. Toronto Raptor president of basketball operations said Wednesday that his decision on whether to resign with the franchise this offseason will be determined by the conversation he is set to have with team ownership in the coming weeks. Everybody says blank check, blank check. Now, these are Messiah words. Everybody says blank check, blank check, blank check. I'm not as, fo as much focused on the blank check. Jury said during a, your jury said during a news conference when asked what he think about in making this decision. A lot of things hinge on what we've, a lot of the things that we've done here, we have to move forward as a franchise, compete with the best in the NBA. This is all about winning a championship again. Let me tell you something, guys. Everybody has forgotten what happened two years ago. Okay, yes, we won, but nobody cares anymore, okay? We want to win another one. That's what you want, that's what you want to do. Yeah, you want to prepare yourself to win another one not play in the play-in game, not play in the playoff. You want to win a championship. Everybody's everybody's like, why don't you get in the play-in? Play-in for what? We want to win a championship here, and we have to put ourselves in position. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I'm going to stop right there for a minute because I was one of those guys. I was like, get in the play-in. Get in the play-in because you're giving yourself a position, an uh, uh, opportunity to win the championship. So, I could be wrong, but what I'm gathering from this is the way he's looking at it is we, we are not in a position to win a championship even if we got in the play-in. So when you're wondering where was some of the tanking or some some of the weird lineups and stuff coming up, why Kyle Lowry wasn't playing in certain games, to me this answer it. His, his, his objective was not to just get in the play-in. He wanted to win a championship. Now, I would be I disagree with that. I think once you get in, who knows what can happen. You can go on an improbable run. You know, um, but that's me. I, I'm not. I'm not Masai Ujiri, but I get where he's coming from. Okay, he says, I want to know. So, what's the next lift? What's the next five year, years? What's the next ten years? What are we doing to put ourselves in the conversation with all the great teams and all the winners? That's what we want to do, and that's the that's the. Hold on, wait a minute. And that's the conversation that I'm going to have with ownership. And yes, I'm going to have acts. I'm going to have a lot of things that I think we need to put forward to address these things and I think ownership is open to hearing this. So pretty much he's saying, yeah, I want what I want, but I want the ownership to tell me what are we doing to move forward. I get it. I agree. Who wanna stay stagnant, man? Who wanna just sit there and be like, yeah, well we 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 won two years ago. Um we got we gotta like he he wanna build a championship dynasty or he want to be able to compete for a championship year in and year out now are there years you're going to fall short absolutely of course sorry guys i gotta hold this um are there years you're going to fall short absolutely of course but at the same time you want to know that we're doing everything in our ability to try to win let's get off of what we did two years ago and let's make this, let's move this let's move this thing forward i got it i got to co-sign that i love the thinking there i love the mentality there i love i love it i, I really do man uh, so in terms of that, in, in terms of that conversation, that's going to be had. Um, the article goes on to say that Ujiri's, Ujiri's future has been a topic of conversation around the Raptor for almost a year, and he has repeatedly refrained from talking about what will happen once his contract expires after running the franchise since 2013. Ujiri initially said he'd get co uh, coach Nick Nurse and general man manager Bobby West the contract since done before dealing with his own, and that has happened. Um, he, um, the jury go on to say, we have been incredibly, incredibly disadvantaged from all of this. 
the displacement really did not work well from the top ownership everybody from our coaching staff players they were incredible they were incredible during this process they've tried to preserve as much as they could through adversity our medical team they were incredible for it the front office even scouts everything we tried to come together i've said that multiple times though guys i've said that i've said that there that that displacement them not being home is a is a problem um, and he goes on to say it was a great disadvantage, and I have to agree. Now, not just and, and me, I was just thinking from a player, but he's right. You, you got coaching staff, you got medical scouts. All of this, all of this was new for them. All of this was coming from an, a, a, a new perspective, um, and they did um, handle it well. Um, no, I think they had the biggest disadvantage. If you put everybody on an even playing field coming to the city, they probably had the biggest hill to climb. So I, I agree with him. That was definitely. One of the major issues, um, <clears throat> and he goes on to say, in this environment, this which is the NBA, we were number 30 in terms of what we went through. We had an outbreak on our team. We had a rough start. That's on us. That's on me, maybe because of our roster, and some maybe we can call misfits as we start the season. But we did climb up to being fourth fourth in the East sometime in mid-February or the end of February or something. We climbed back out of it, and – we got we got hit again. We had a one and thirteen month that was tough. To be honest, to be honest, we were playing teams that I knew games were winnable. But these guys were were working in the mud. They were running in the mud. These their bodies and everything they were going through was really really tough. I agree, man. It was unorthodox. Like they did. They you got to think about the COVID break. The COVID outbreak, you got to think about um, just the, all the, the different things that they dealt with. And in addition to being displaced, um, in addition to being displaced, you know, they dealt with so much. It was a, ter it was a tumultuous season. Do I expect them to have a, a much, much better season next year? Yes. But this this season, I just think the odds were too, was, was stacked too high against them. And ultimately... When that's the case, you're, you're going to get some results like this. Um, he ends it by saying this was a tough situation. None of us has gone through this before, and our case was even worse than the other 2019. We were not looking for excuses here. We are not looking for excuses here. We know the work. We know the work that we have to do going forward and how we need to get back on our feet. It's a great challenge for us moving forward. And that's how he sums up the article. I agree. It was a heck of a challenge. But I think they'll get this thing back right. But first thing first, let's see what's happening with Masai Ujiri. I think ownership is going to concede to to what he wants, and I think he'll stay a Toronto Raptors. That's my prediction. Let me know if you agree. With that being said, guys, please like, come subscribe to the channel. Till next time, you guys be good.